Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to create a very simple lower third in Premiere Pro. Okay, here we are in Premiere Pro, and we've got Malk on the screen with the lovely Music Radio Creative logo and his name. So how do I do that? Very simply, in Premiere Pro. Easy, easy. So we've got, um, we've got lots going on here, uh, but you'll see on video four and video five, I've got the name. If I get rid of that, see the name's gone. And on video five, there's the logo. Uh, so very simple to do this. Let me delete those two properties there and show you how it's done. Okay, so this is Malk. We want the MRC logo and we want his name there. So first of all, I'm going to go to my finder and I'm going to drag in the MRC logo, drop it down into my project area there. So then we'll have a lovely logo that I can just drag in onto an empty video track in Premiere Pro. In this case, I'll drag it back to where it was, onto track five, and you'll see uh, an image appears there. Um, now, is that transparent? Does it look transparent to you? Uh, let's find out. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Uh, first of all, I'm going to select the video area there, and then I'm going to scale it down. I can do this by using scale here in effects controls. If you can't see this, by the way, make sure it's it's selected up at the top. You could have multiple different uh, little uh, tabs selected here, but effects controls is where you want to be. Select your clip, and then everything will appear for you. Scale it right down. Oh, yeah, it is transparent, which is brilliant. You see the M is growing. It's uh, it's almost coming out of Malk's bow tie, isn't it? So <laughs> scale it down, uh, and then we're going to we're going to scale this right down, I think, even smaller. And then we're going to use the position over here to, to just move it over. As you can see, when I'm dragging the position to a much smaller number over here, uh, there you go, two, three, four, and down here, let's make that one, eight, nine, zero, maybe a bit more, make it exact. There we go. Perfect. Uh, there it is. And you can change the scale if you want. If you want the logo to be a bit bigger or a bit smaller or just tiny, just minuscule, you can do that. But five is going to be fine for our purpose. Um, now, notice uh, here, in part of Malk's speech, the logo will disappear because, of course, that track doesn't go on forever. So just drag it out. It's just an image track and drag it to last the whole length of your video. That way, the logo is never going to disappear. Now, in this empty space here on video four, I'm going to pull in the text with Malcolm. To do this, it's a simple title. Uh, you can either go to the title menu here and go to add new title, uh, or I just like to use the hotkey command or control if you're on a PC and T, new title. It'll make it by default the, uh, the width and height of your video. We filmed in 4K, so there are the 4K settings, time base, frames per second usually of your sequence, uh, and give it a title like Malk name. Okay, that's good. This will bring up a brand new window here uh, where you can you can write things on it. As you can see, it, it very helpfully uh, brings the video in there as well so you can see where you're writing. Uh, so text is actually selected by default, the type tool. Uh, so I'm just going to select around here where I want the text to appear and I'm going to type M-A-L-K. Uh, as you can see, some strange font and strange size selected so we can't really see that. So I'm just doing Command A now or Control A on a PC to select all my text. Uh, I'm going to change the font and and I'm actually going to go through and I'm going to find the corporate font for Music Radio Creative, which is somewhere here. It's Work Sans. Uh, let's have a look for that. We'll be here somewhere. Work Sans. There we go. OK, uh, then I'm going to make it a corporate color, the color of our logo here. Still can't really see it. So I'm going to increase the size quite dramatically by clicking here. And uh, then I might make it at the moment it's thin. So let's make it. Uh, bold. There we go. Now we can start to see it. Okay, perfect. So maybe uh, take that size down a little bit. Once we got the size we desire, uh, maybe around, yeah, around 212, select this, the selection tool. I'm sure you're familiar with this in Photoshop in Audition. Simple to move your text to wherever you want it to be and just pop it so it lines up nicely with your logo in that lower third display. And then cross out of the title, and you'll see here in your project area, uh, there is the title. Drag that into a blank video track. Here we go. Uh, there we go, Malk. It's not quite aligned as I would like it to be with the logo. So I might go back in and just, just move that around a little bit more. I can even drag this out a little bit so I can really see what I'm doing. So I'm going to do that. 
uh, move that up a little bit. Let's have a look at that. And this will move in real time. So every time you edit the title, there you go. It's about aligned now with the MRC logo. Uh, every time you go back into your title box and move something in real time, when you close the box, it'll update in your sequence, which is great news. A very simple lower third there with the Music Radio Creative logo and the name of somebody. Easy to do, short time inside Premiere Pro. Yeah.